hello and welcome guys hope you are doing great so in this video we will see some automation like you have created a block now now you want to add that block to all the courses that will be created that means all the new courses will be created and there is another one if you want to add that block for all the existing courses that means the courses that are already there in the system so let's start to deal with how to add to the new newly created courses we have to uh, mention and override this config variable okay like if you want to add this one list all courses and if you want the multiple then you have to add like this it's comma separated recent activities recently access item and if i want this one open a chat so let's make it here the comma separated and if you have the multiple one as i mentioned you can separate by comma here as many as you want the list may be longer as per your business need so this is the way you need to define this config variable and for the every newly created courses there will be And these two block will be already added okay so let's try to create a course I am here on the my course list. and click on this three dot create a new course course 26 or put auto here before the course name auto course 26 Let's save and display and the moment you click on save you see this one is added and you also see open chat is added why these two is coming just because I have mentioned here these two okay and this is the variable basically every time any courses will be created it will be executed so i have override this one and if you want to add anything like site level you can also do that okay for now i am practicing with how to add a block to a new courses so you can see this this is working fine okay and if I see in already already existing courses like this one click and see you don't see the second one that was this open age or chat you can't see here and let's try to add these two in all the existing like uh, for now in this course course 2 you don't see open open AI chat but after writing this code you will be able to see that okay so I am writing that code here inside DB access you can either execute on any file like if you can create a separate file here and execute that code but I am executing here because this video is a continuation of uh, list all courses so everything I will be writing here itself so come under DB and under upgrade copy oh you see I have already pasted here this code okay you have to get the list of all courses and you have to loop through so I am running a loop like this it will the previous one will be deleted 
this means that means whatever coming under that course will be removed removed from all the existing courses and this will be added okay and and the value will take from this please make sure this must be mentioned either you can mention here or you can copy this one and write here as well okay so let me execute this one so let's change this 27 to 28 and under version dot php change this one why because that is why only after making correction in the version it will be asking for upgrade okay so it is asking for upgrade click on continue you see one upgrade is coming click on upgrade Moodle database now and you see the success click on continue okay and go to my courses and check the courses so I am first checking for auto course 26 you see the both that was already added I have added for this newly created course by writing by over adding the config value here only but now checking for another courses again come to my courses check for this course course 2 and you see both one is coming course all list all courses and open a chat okay again come to my courses and you can see for this course 26 also coming for both for course name 2 you see coming for both and introduction to Moodle you also see both block are coming here so in this video you have learned how to uh, add any diff any block to any courses uh, newly created courses then you have to mention here only but if you want to add add this block to all the existing you have to uh, execute query like this either either you can write under any block any block or you can write this one to any specific file and you can execute okay so hope you guys have learned and hopefully you, you will be using and and this will be helpful for you in case you find any issue